Over 2,000 years ago, ancient Chinese scholars observed the changing patterns in our natural world, the climate, the turning of the seasons, and astronomy. The scholars measured and divided the sun's annual movements into 24 equal parts, creating the 24 solar terms, which were used to govern agriculture in ancient China. Even to this day, this invention still guides the lives and traditions of hundreds of millions of Chinese people. Around June 6th every year, the Mangzhong solar term arrives. At this time, the already busy farming season reaches its peak, paying thanks to the flower god and making wine with fresh plum berries. All show the Chinese people's closeness and respect for nature. The English word season comes from the Latin verb severe, meaning to sow. Whether east or west, ideas related to the seasons are closely tied to farming. But out of the 24 Chinese solar terms, only one makes direct mention of agriculture, and that's the ninth, Mang Zhong, grain in year. Known to farmers as the busy planting period, each year when Mang Zhong falls, you can bet that it's going to rain. So farmers are racing to bring in the harvest before the rains come and plant seeds for the next season to safeguard future harvests. The 24 solar terms were laid down by farmers 3,000 years ago to regulate how the land was to be worked. And today, 3,000 years later, they're still followed to the letter. Hunan province, on the plains of the Yellow River, has four distinct seasons. Plenty of sunshine and loads of rain. Hunan is the most important wheat-producing province in China. And where I am now, Xiangcheng, is key to China's grain production might. When Mandrong arrives, all this wheat needs to be harvested, and fast. Right now, this is quite possibly the busiest place in the whole country. To encourage villagers to produce more wheat, Jialing in Xiangcheng is getting ready for a big event. They call it the Wheat Championships. Based on each household's production of wheat per mu, or six acres, they crown a champion farmer wheat king every year. Ma Kefu has been the village leader here for more than 30 years. In years gone by, every single stalk of wheat was harvested manually. Old Ma was known as the best hand at the job. He was crowned the wheat king. Uh in the early 19th century, a British agriculturalist wrote an investigative report in which he praised farmers of the East for their craft at using the land. An acre of land could feed six times the population of an acre of land in the UK. In ancient times, before technology was applied to farming, this success must have had a lot to do with Chinese farmers' acute sense of timing. It's 
以前你就是这样做的？以前都是，从前没有机械，嗯，全靠人工割，嗯，哎，转转转，哎，前面是成了机械化了，但是呢，这个地头、地片，这个有的小片荒地还得做人割。三十年之前，三十年都是割满，都是割满的，那肯定很累，是吧？嗯，割了等架台拉，拉了再打，打了再起，起了再养，现在全机械化，俺去年多了。As Old Ma said, scientific cultivation and better field management have increased the wheat yield considerably. Recognized harvesting has meant that Mangzhong is way easier than it was, which has led to some very enterprising locals to seek new business opportunities. Pinter,偶尔也是在车里吃，是吧？现在不在车上吃，你下来一档，我不说对吧？你一一档，我好几亩地没了，你就挣不了钱了，就这个期间嘛。那你现在要要要开始忙？对呀，我要开始忙了，
To harvest one acre of land would take one day, and to thresh it would take another week. Now with one of these new combine harvesters, this whole job can be done within half an hour. With the blessings of modern mechanized farming, Mr. Ma no longer needs to race through the wheat fields in 40 degrees heat to complete the challenge. Now, every year sees Mr. Ma supervise and adjudicate participants of the big event. Uh, Thanks to this year's weather, Xiangchang's harvest is excellent. Mr. Ma estimates the year's total output at about 500 million kilos of wheat, a quantity that can feed a billion people for a day, or up to 2.9 million for a whole year. The contest is coming to an end. All the villagers are waiting to find out this year's winner. In fact, we all know it's not that important anymore. Because when you have new seeds, better farming techniques, and speedier harvesting methods, you will naturally get better results year on year. But of course, you also need to thank the inherited wisdom of 3,000 years of ancestral farmers and their 24 precious solar terms. Around the world, wheat is one of our most produced staples. Universally loved, wheat is turned into flour, which makes, of course, our wonderful beer and bread in the West. And in China, it's turned into manto, steam buns and noodles to be eaten as a staple food all year round. This is a Henan speciality. Making it is a skill that all housewives must have here. Your own wheat, ground by yourself, made into your own noodles, are the only ones that are qualified for serving at a table for men who have been working long hours outside in the fields. Jingjie, used as a herbal medicine, has a fragrant and strong smell. It can only be eaten around the time of Mang Zhong. It grows no matter the soil or climate, and is just as hardy as wheat. The locals add it to almost every meal, 
eaten fresh or in their noodle soup. There is a popular way of thinking in China that the food you eat shapes your personality. Over thousands of years, Chinese people have constantly observed and learned from nature. They've worked hard to cultivate the land, and it's this self-efficient lifestyle that has led to the Chinese people that we know today. And as if by clockwork, it's raining. Bang on time. The wheat has been harvested, straw is spread on the field, and the farmers get back to work planting corn. In China, at the right time is the most ingenious way for people to get along with nature. And it is also the reason why the Chinese still follow the 24 solar terms 3,000 years after they were laid down. With the blessings on traditional culture and following the development of the times, science and technology have become all important. Since opening up its economy 40 years ago, China has completely transformed. In Xiangcheng, far from China's big cities, you can feel that there's huge change in the air. Improved crop varieties and scientific planting methods have increased the amount of food on the table and cash in the farmer's hands. And with all the use of agricultural machinery, the time that they have now saved has led to them pursuing new opportunities and all of this a better standard of living. Walking in the newly planted fields, you can feel the difference. Everything here is constantly changing. Only the same time something has not changed, nature carries on regardless. For thousands of years, the Chinese have recorded how nature does its work with their 24 solar terms. As we come to the end of this solar term here in China, it's been a very dramatic one. These fields that I am sat in were once blowing with wheat are now already newly planted crops. By the next solar term, will be green and flourishing and I shall be on my next journey in China. <laughs>